Hello everyone, we are back again with another video. I apologize for this very long delay. It was literally the busiest time of my life, but we are back again and we are starting a series together. A series of one of the Persian mystics of the 8th century, Islamic 8th century, Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari. Um, he, his famous book, Golshan Raz, or The Rose Garden of Mysteries, has been one of the pillars in um, Sufism and philosophical mystical literature. Um, we are going to start a series together. We are going to read it together, together with the commentaries. به نام آن که جان را فکرت آموخت چراغ دل به نور جان برافروخت In the name of he who taught the soul thinking he who lit the heart's light with the soul's illumination This particular episode is an introduction a background of this mystic's life and on his most famous work that is the Rose Garden of Mysteries or Gulshan Raz Sheikh Mahmoud's full name is Sheikh Sa'aduddin Mahmoud bin Amin ad-Din Abdul Karim bin Yahya Shabestari, shortened as Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari. Uh, he was born in a town named Shabestar, which is in today's Iran, one of the cities close to Tabriz. He was born in the 8th Islamic century. Um, um, Shabestar, when he was born, was not a very famous or even a big city. Even today, it's not a big city. But back then, it was considered uh, a close, dependent part of Tabriz. But thanks to this mystic's great fame, this city has also been famous together with his name. Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari was a potent philosopher, mystic, and poet. Although his birth is a matter of controversy, but um, according to literature, he was born, he was born in uh, the year 687 Hijri in Islamic calendar. After his education in Tabriz, he starts traveling and writing. He writes Sa'adat Naume, one of his famous works. He travels to many places and according to what he writes, uh, we can understand that he has at least visited Egypt, Sham, and Hijaz. Later, he comes back to Tabriz, to Shabestar, and he dies as a man of 33 years old. Although, again, this is a matter of controversy. We do not clearly know which year he was born in and which year he passed away. He is buried in a garden called Golshan. Golshan literally means garden in Persian, but it's an allusion to uh, his most famous work, Golshan Raz, that is the Rose Garden of Mysteries. He's buried next to his master, Baha'uddin Yaqub Tabrizi. Sheikh Mahmoud's writings are highly influenced by uh, the Hekmah of Ibn Arabi. Hekmah could be translated as a theosophy. And his style of poetry is um, highly influenced by Rumi and Attar, other two potent Persian mystic philosopher poets. Now let's talk about um, his most famous work, Golshan Raz, The Rose Garden of Mysteries. Now let us first see why he wrote this work. He tells us in the beginning of the, beginning of the work that in the year 717 Hijri, a messenger brought a letter from Khorasan, part of uh, Iran, from a mystic, from a very famous mystic. And this mystic is said to be Amir Sayyid Hosseini Herabi. And um, the mystic sends a letter containing some mystical and philosophical questions. He sends the letter through a mess messenger to a gathering where Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari and his master was in that gathering. And the interesting thing is, um, in order to show his literary potency, um, the mystic, the Khorasani mystic, uh, writes the whole questions not as prose, but as poetry. He asks the questions in a poetic way. These are hardcore philosophical mystical questions, but he designs them through poetry. Now, like I said, when the messenger brings that letter, um, in that gathering, together with Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari, he's 
spiritual teacher was also present and it is a matter of controversy who who that teacher was but according to what we what can be understood from the literature he has two great masters one was uh sheikh amin al-din and the other one was baha al-din tabrizi we do not know which one uh, that master was but according to the most famous commentary written for uh golshan raz uh, that is mafatih al ijaz fi sharh golshan raz by uh, lahiji um the commentator lahiji who was also another sufi mystic scholar uh, tells us that that mystic was uh, sheikh amin al-din now many people have asked why the mystic sends uh, such questions to um, to the mystics of Tabriz. There are several speculations. Uh, one of them says, "Well, he wanted the divine secrets to be disclosed, but not from his own tongue, but from the tongue of somebody else." But uh, this is not a famous view. Uh, there is a second, more popular view, and I agree with this. The mystic, the Khorasani mystic, did not ask those questions because he needed answers to those questions. He sent those questions because um, he wanted to open a dialogue between the mystics of Khorasan and the mystics of Tabriz. That was kind of a conversation, a dialogue opener, rather than really asking questions. And interestingly, uh, the Khorasani mystic, that is Heravi, Amir Hosseini Heravi, already answers the questions that he asks in that letter in his own works. So this also shows clearly that um, it wasn't the case that he really needed answer to those questions. He just wanted to open a dialogue. And the questions uh, concern with deep philosophical, mystical matters. For example, the nature of thought and inner journey, the meaning of commonly used terms in mystical literature, like wine, like candle, and a request for the explanation of the question, who am I? Who is that which we call I? A famous question that has been haunting philosophers and mystics for centuries. Now, after the messenger brings the question, he opens the letter, he reads the question. In the beginning, Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari refuses to answer those questions because he says that, well, we have already answered these in our, uh, in our papers, in our books. But on his master's insistence, he writes a cursory answer and sends the letter to the Khorasani mystic. After the messenger leaves, um, Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari's master asks him to write an extended answer to make it a book, to make it a proper long explanatory answer. And he does so, he answers all those questions thoroughly. But interestingly, and this is one of the things that makes this work so great. He writes the whole book in poetry. Yes, he writes philosophy, he writes mysticism entirely as poem. It is already difficult to write philosophy. It is already difficult to talk about mysticism. How you can fit that into poem, it takes a genius like Sheikh Mahmoud Shabestari. But in the beginning of this work, he um, tells us explicitly that this is not the result of his discursive thinking. This is not the result of reason, discursive reasoning. He says in the beginning of the book that I asked God to help me and the answers were put into my heart and it just took me several hours to just write them down. This is what he explicitly tells us in the beginning of the book. And about writing the whole book as poems, he says something very interesting. Um, Again, in the beginning of the book, he says, look, I am writing poetry, but everybody knows this is a line in his poem. Everybody knows that in my entire life, I have never ever written poems. And fascinatingly, when he writes this line, he deliberately misuses the rhyme. In Persian, that line goes like this. Hame donand kin kastar hame omr. So the last two words, Omr, Sher, should rhyme, but they don't. One is Omr with O, the other one is Sher with E. 
they don't rhyme. So all other lines rhyme perfectly, but when it comes to this particular line, he deliberately misuses that. But I think he's being a, a little bit modest here because um, his, his poetry is just amazing. Like it's fascinatingly beautiful. And like I said, it is already difficult to talk about philosophy and mysticism. Bringing all those heavy concepts under the language of poetry is just incredible. Then he tells us about the name of the book. He says, after I finished writing down what was already put in my heart, I asked God about the name of the letter. He refers to it as letter. And the answer came to my heart, this is our Rose Garden. That's why he names the book The Rose Garden of Mysteries or Golshane Rose. Golshan, like we said in Persian, means rose garden or garden, and Rose means mystery. So put together, Golshane Rose means rose garden of mystery, but it is commonly translated as rose garden of mysteries, plural. This work was so influential and famous that many have made the argument that talking about Persian mystical and Sufi literature without this book is, is not possible. But he is so modest that in, uh, in his book, he says, especially in the parts that he's talking about his poetic style, he's saying, look, I, I'm not a professional poet. And then he says, I'm not ashamed of my poetry because in seven centuries, only one Attar has come to this world. And here he is uh, glorifying Attar, the great mystic Persian poet. According to Barzagar Khaliqi, this work has had 50 translations, annotations, and commentaries in different languages, including German, English, Urdu, and Turkish. But like I said, the most well-known and famous commentary written for it is Mafati Hole Ejaz Fi So in this video series, um, the central commentary that I am using is also this one, uh, the commentary from Lahiji. Thank you everyone for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this because I did. And uh, this, this book is just fascinating. Even this story of why it was written and how it was written, like gives me goosebumps. Let us start a journey together, a journey in which we analyze the thought of this mastermind and the content of this masterpiece. Again, thank you very much for watching the video and stay tuned for the next episodes. See you soon.